up for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England. Presenting the challenger, Paddy the Baddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. DC round one is upon us, and if you are somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made for you. This fight is made for you, but does the grappler try to keep this fight standing? Does he just throw the jiu-jitsu fighter down and then back out? Because even though he's a phenomenal grappler, he will be at a disadvantage. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow. Oh.
accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the ball. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Let's go. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. All right, so he postures up brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. And if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. An attack an arm bar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hand. That's the detail that everybody's missing. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he is going to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get ground upon in the match, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase choke. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. You gotta be careful, Armbar. 
continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar. And... Woo!